Hello, this is week six of our online learning lesson. This week you are going to learn chapter ten, writing official letters, unit one, as if by magic. Before we start our lesson today, I would like you to check the answers for the exercise you did last week. Let's check your answer now. And now start our lesson. You are going to learn the lesson from page 57 to page 58. Chapter 10, Writing Official Letters, Unit 1, As If by Magic. Now we would like you to open your textbook to page 57. Now we would like you to talk about the picture on page 57. There are three questions that may help you to talk about the picture. You may add more questions to ask yourself and answer to yourself. Let's get started. You have five minutes. After you talk about the picture, you learn six words. The word article is noun. Director is noun. Discuss is verb. Inform is verb. Invitation is noun. Roughly is adverb. Article, noun, a piece of writing on a particular subject in a newspaper or magazine or on the internet. A piece of writing, which is at the bottom, say, on a particular subject on the site or magazine, or on the internet, or on the internet. Example, if you spot any mistakes in the article, just mark them with a pencil. If you spot present bản này mơ khởi any mistake cầm hoa nam mới in the article này con ông article at the bot just mark them trầm tài thưa sinh nhà từ lời bộ vía nắng with a pencil đôi bá cầm bàn này director noun a manager of an organization company college etc chỉ nhớ chặt cá nơi con ông ông cá cầm hôn rồi có sọc cỏ là this is the example. She has become the director of the new information center. Nieng ban khlai direct the director khlai the chia the you of the new information center. Nek nong ma chet mandol po dem mien thmai muoi. Discuss verb to talk about something with someone. Ni ye si chet Example, you should discuss this problem with your doctor. Nekuotai discuss pipiza this problem panyhani with your doctor chimoy. Inform is verb to tell someone about something. Nije prap no namane ampi away moy. Example she informed her tenants that she was raising the rent. She informed Nien Ban Prap the Kachun Poramien, her tenant, the Kan Chul Ptia the Kachul Dai Roba Nien, that Ta, she was raising the rent. Nien Ban Dam Lang Tlai Chul. Next word invitation is a noun. The act of inviting someone to go to an event. The act of inviting. inviting. someone to go to an event. Example, I delivered her invitation by hand. Roughly, adverb. Approximately, the minute I prohile. Example: The money I saved corresponds roughly to the amount I need for my course. The money I saved, loi dai khom ban san som correspond trai top. Rui co vie trai nang roughly prohile tan nang chom nuon. I need dai khom trai ca sam rap my course sam rap. Okay, that's all for the vocabulary. Now I want you to read the statement from 1 to 6 in exercise A. You have 2 minutes. 
After reading the statement, now you listen. Let's get started. Chapter 10, Unit 1, As If by Magic. Section A3. Listen to the story. Do you remember reading about Ted's favorite island, Corsica, in English for Cambodia, Book 5? You may also remember that Peter, Ted's nephew, used to go to France to pick grapes during his holidays from university. Although he's been to France, he's never been to Corsica, although Uncle Ted has often told him about it. Now he's thinking of going there during his summer holidays. If he had the opportunity to earn enough money, he could fly straight there, and he wouldn't have to spend all his time picking grapes. Peter was reading the newspaper when he saw an interesting advertisement. It had been put in the newspaper by a large travel company and was an invitation to write about one of ten holiday destinations. As if by magic, Corsica was one of them. Applicants were invited to write the com- to the company's director, inform her about the place that they preferred, which aspects they would like to write about, and explain why they should be chosen. Thirty applicants would be invited for interview, out of which ten would be selected. Successful applicants would be given a free return air ticket and $100 for each article of roughly a thousand words written and published in the company's travel magazine, Adventure Holidays. Peter immediately phoned Uncle Ted, told him about the advertisement and arranged to discuss it with him that evening. He then went round to his local library and found a couple of books about Corsica. As he walked round to Ted's house later that evening, He felt nervous as he wondered how he was going to write the letter to the company director. He knew that he couldn't write the letter as if he was writing to his sister, Lucy, or to a friend. That wouldn't be appropriate. This letter would have to be an official one. But previously, Peter had hardly written any formal letters and didn't have much confidence in his ability to write one now. It certainly wouldn't be easy, especially as he would be competing against many others. Fortunately, however, He had his capable Uncle Ted and Aunt Mary to help him. After listening, you have three minutes to fill in the gap to the statement from one to six. You listen again and check your answer. Chapter 10, Unit 1, As If By Magic. Section A3, listen to the story. Do you remember reading about Ted's favorite island, Corsica, in English for Cambodia, Book 5? You may also remember that Peter, Ted's nephew, used to go to France pick grapes during his holidays from university. Although he's been to France, he's never been to Corsica, although Uncle Ted has often told him about it. Now he's thinking of going there during his summer holidays. If he had the opportunity to earn enough money, he could fly straight there, and he wouldn't have to spend all his time picking grapes. Peter was reading the newspaper when he saw an interesting advertisement. It had been put in the newspaper by a large travel company and was an invitation to write about one of ten holiday destinations. As if by magic, Corsica was one of them. Applicants were invited to write the com- to the company's director, inform her about the place that they preferred, which aspects they would like to write about, and explain why they should be chosen. Thirty applicants would be invited for interview, out of which ten would be selected. Successful applicants would be given a free return air ticket and $100 for each article of roughly a thousand words written and published in the company's travel magazine, Adventure Holidays. Peter immediately phoned Uncle Ted, told him about the advertisement, and arranged to discuss it with him that evening. He then went round to his local library and found a couple of books about Corsica. As he walked round to Ted's house later that evening, he felt nervous as he wondered how he was going to write the letter to the company director. He knew that he couldn't write the letter as if he was writing to his sister, Lucy, or to a friend. That wouldn't be appropriate. This letter would have to be an official one, but previously Peter had hardly written any formal letters and didn't have much confidence in his ability to write one now. It certainly wouldn't be easy, especially as he would be competing against many others. Fortunately, however, he had his capable Uncle Ted and Aunt Mary to help him.
you are going to listen again. In this third listening, you are going to listen and you answer the question. In exercise B, there are six questions from one to six on page fifty-eight. Question number one: What does Peter need in order to be able to fly directly to Corsica? Ta away that Peter need the car in order to number to be able to act fly directly ha trong to put the car Corsica. Question number two. Who found the advertisement in the newspaper interesting and why? Who found the news? The advertisement gap side in the newspaper, the Kanong Gazette, interesting. Go a jab around and why? Nung head away. Question number three: A. How many applicants will receive an invitation for an interview? Applicants by the chun tap by the chun put man it. Will receive an invitation. Can join for an interview. Some rap, cast some peer. And B. How many will eventually be successful? Eventually means finally. Ta chỉ trong cào ấy. Miền Bắc Man nè, nưng successful, nưng tự tu ở chục chế. Question number four. If Peter is successful, person ba Peter chục chế. What will he have to do? The way they got in trouble that were while he is on holiday. They come long pay they got with some care. Question number five. Why did Peter visit his local library? Had we ban chia Peter ban the can banalai that is the canong number one robot robot got. Question number six. Why did Peter feel nervous? Had we ban chia Peter feel nervous? Me na ram tap hay. Baram about writing on P K S C to the company director. The can you from home? Yes. In this exercise, you are going to listen again the third listening, and then you answer the question from one to six. Let's get started. <laughs> As if by magic. Section A3. Listen to the story. Do you remember reading about Ted's favourite island, Corsica, in English for Cambodia, Book Five? You may also remember that Peter, Ted's nephew, used to go to France to pick grapes during his holidays from university. Although he's been to France, he's never been to Corsica. Although Uncle Ted has often told him about it, now he's thinking of going there during his summer holidays. If he had the opportunity to earn enough money. He could fly straight there, and he wouldn't have to spend all his time picking grapes. Peter was reading the newspaper when he saw an interesting advertisement. It had been put in the newspaper by a large travel company, and was an invitation to write about one of ten holiday destinations. As if by magic, Corsica was one of them. Applicants were invited to write the com- to the company's director, inform her about the place that they preferred, which aspects they would like to write about, and explain why they should be chosen. Thirty applicants would be invited for interview, out of which ten would be selected. Successful applicants would be given a free return air ticket and one hundred dollars for each article of roughly a thousand words written, and published in the company's travel magazine, Adventure Holidays. Peter immediately phoned Uncle Ted, told him about the advertisement, and arranged to discuss it with him that evening. He then went round to his local library and found a couple of books about Corsica. As he walked round to Ted's house later that evening, he felt nervous as he wondered how he was going to write the letter to the company director. He knew that he couldn't write the letter as if he was writing to his sister Lucy or to a friend; that wouldn't be appropriate. This letter would have to be an official one. But previously, Peter had hardly written any formal letters and didn't have much confidence in his ability to write one now. It certainly wouldn't be easy, especially as he would be competing against many others. Fortunately, however. He had his capable uncle Ted and Aunt Mary to help him. The answer for the exercise that you did in the class will be given to you next week. And now move to the last point of our lesson today is grammar point. 
Today's lesson: the grammar is about as if. The use of as if there are two. Use number one: in such a way that something seems to be true. In such a way, the k n o n g r o b i m u that something d i r o b m u seems ha do chi k a p t n c h n g Please study the form of number one. A sentence in a present form plus as if plus a sentence in a present form. Example: It looks as if it's going to rain. We m e t as a ha do chi it's going to rain. Do chi we n g l e p l i n g We t r u e we n g l e p l i n g n t r o n g k l i n g It seems to be true. Another example: A sentence in a past form, p e r s o n verb, you can use the n o n g past form plus it as if. We got to t e b o o k to move in the r o n g the n o n g at the car d e Example: Jack smiled as if he was enjoying a private joke. A private joke means that he is a l i t t l playing d e m n a k i s call can be a bit g a n g e r s ก็พลายเลยจมวยคณีปัญไตเนตติอัดโยนระไว้ได้ปุ๊กเกสายนั่งเด็กโยนตะคณีกี so this example Jack smile as if Jack บ้านอยู่เยิ้ม as if ฮัดโดจี he was enjoying God ริริยนั่งเรื่องกับพลายตัวกลุ่นระบบปุ๊กเกนั่ง so you study t h r o u g h example ประสนบาเนคนองตมรงนั่ง a sentence in a present form บกจมอย่าง as if มวยทีก็วิจิตรตรง present form ได้โดยที่ looks ให้เนี่ย it's going to ปัญไตพัฒนาแบบประโยคมวยทีโดยที่ smile วิกิจิ past simple วิจิตรตรงอัตตะการนึกขังกลอย as if วิกิจิอัตตะการโดยคณีได้ปัญไตในระบบวิกิจิ possible วิอาจจะรู้ได้ท่าเมื่อที่วิวิปต The use number two. What the difference between the use number one and use number two? The k n o k a p r a number two ni some are definition together. Used when you are describing something, and you imagine an explanation for it that you know is not the real one. Used when p r a p r a n e p e l you are describing the p e r i n e p i p o r n e something a w a y m u i and you imagine how n e t u k a imagine s r m a s a m a i An explanation to c a p n j u l for it. สำหรับผู้เรียนนั่งถา you know it is not the real one. We are m e n t i o n c a p t e We t a l k a b o u t the study the form of number two. A sentence in the present or past form. ภาษาจีนประโยคนั่งในขังดาม as if we are กิจีตุมรงปัจจุบันกระดาวอัตตะการกระดาว plus as if อัปตัวตัวปี as if we are คือเราตายจีตุ่มรงอัตตะการแต่เราโหดสาวี not possible วิกอนจีเรื่องไหนวิมันอาจจะรวยวิมันปิด example the house is in such a mess ประเทศคือรุนแรงรุนแรงอัดสนับถนน it looks as if a bomb dropped on it วิ่งมือเตะโดยจีเมียนกาทะเลกรอบใบในจอมเตียนนั่งจังงี้ So the how is is the object the wrong present, but that is not a real not real one. That I mean, bomb to let them. Then the third part the wrong past form. Okay, that's all for today for the grammar point. In this exercise, C's on page 58, it is your homework. In this exercise, C, you read the example, and you read table one and table two. You match them to make five correct statements. Uh, you use as if that you just learned in the grammar point.